It's always great when you find a brand new tool that really helps you grow your traffic, which obviously is a really useful thing to do if you're trying to grow your business on Google. In the next few minutes, you're going to see how you can automate your uploading of your articles to Google My Business and other social media outlets. And from that, you're going to get tons more traffic. So welcome to my video. So I'm Zane from Zanet Design and I help businesses grow on the internet. So if you've got a business and you're trying to get it to grow, to get more local traffic, to get more inquiries, more views for your business, then this video, along with all the others that I do, is going to help you. So make sure you subscribe, make sure you click the alert button, and then you won't miss on the next update. So let's just think about that, getting more traffic because you can automate posting to various social media outlets. Now let's be honest, if you've got outlets like Twitter, Facebook, Google My Business, and if you're not posting on a regular basis, then how does that look? Quite often people say on social media, uh, subscribe to me and you'll get the latest information, or like my page because I'll be able to provide you with the latest news on my services. Or with Twitter, retweet these uh, things because I've always got the latest information. And then when you go there, you notice that that was said three years ago. And since then, maybe there's just been one or two tweets, one or two posts. The trouble is the two don't go hand in hand. Saying that you can pro provide fresh food and then it's three years old, it's from 2016, 2017. Well, it just doesn't really lend itself to providing really any confidence in the branding of that company. So how can you have it where your business is continuously providing new posts, new information, and yet it takes you just a few minutes at a weekend maybe with a click of a few buttons? How can you automate that process? And on top of that, we all know that Google My Business in particular likes regularity. It suggested that at least once a week you provide a new post, a new event, a new update. But actually, suggestions are that if you regularly do this, even on a daily basis, you instantly see more traffic. There's lots of proof to show that new images being posted, new updates to events and uh, news on your website. All those things make a big impact on the traffic that Google My Business brings in. And then add to that Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube videos, and so on and so on. And you can see with social media, if you could automate those things, then that would really provide a lot more traffic, a lot more views, and a lot more people picking up the phone and finding out about your business. So that's what we're going to look at today. How can you automate it? And I'm really excited about this new tool I found just a few weeks ago I've been using. And for the last few weeks, with barely any time at all, I've managed to basically flood my social media with some of my previous posts. So let's dive straight in and see how this works. So posting regularly will give you a big boost, as we said, just as a recap, that even just a few minutes each week, and I have all my posts being regularly posted out to all my social media accounts. Let me just show you what we mean by uh, posts and so on. So here's an example. So this post went out 18 hours ago, and um, you'll notice there that uh, then one day ago, this one went out, uh, another one day, two days ago, three days ago, four days ago and so on. So these are all my posts within Google My Business. Every day I'm having at least one post going out on a regular basis with links back to my website, links back to uh, reviews and so on as well. Um, and also trying to perhaps put the odd keyword in that's gonna help my business. But that's not just on Google My Business because then I can also um, show you that if you, you have a website that's free when you get Google My Business as well. So you can just go to that uh, website and you'll see again these regular, so July the 9th, July the 8th, July the 8th, July the 7th, 6th, 5th. And this will again take me through to, so if I click on this for example, uh, easiest way ever, which was a video, it then takes you through to the post. Again, I use a bit of hashtag, maybe one or two uh, keywords as well. Uh, click learn more, and then that then redirects. In this case, this was to take you through to a video that I did um, that Hi, explains, uh, let's just turn it off. Uh, and that explains then 
how that works. So that takes you through to a video, but on other occasions, it'll take you through to a post. So for example, this one here was explaining about uh, having multi-page PDFs and how to do that. If I click on learn more, and that takes you straight through to my, um, my page. So how do I do this? How do I get all these things here? So Insta uh, uh, YouTube's involved, Google My Business involved, just to take you through here. Um, LinkedIn's involved. So look at this article here, for example, when they're 18 hours ago. So uh, we saw that was the case on uh, Google My Business because that's just my last one that's gone out with this talking about different colors. Uh, LinkedIn did the same. Uh, you can actually stagger it. You can stagger it as well. If I go to Facebook, that went out again 18 hours ago. Uh, again, it's been uh, on tweet. So I'm regularly keeping all my social media up to date and it's taken me literally just a few minutes each week to do that. And it comes down to this fantastic tool called Publa. Now I'll put the uh, link in below for you to then click through and uh, you can then go and have a look to see how this works. But it is really, really useful um, because you can schedule in your calendar all your social media accounts so you can go through basically anything you use in social media you can add it to here and then you just literally do a little bit of copying and pasting so you can see here for example this hasn't gone out yet but if i click on this this area so these are the accounts that are going to uh, to go out um, and are ready to be published but they're on a schedule at the moment If I go to um, what's already been posted, then you'll see that we've got here, uh, this was posted yesterday. And if we look at it, it's that one there that mentioned about the, the rainbow as well, which we've just looked at. And that's just looking, for instance, at the Facebook one that went out. So that's already uh, been used. You can reuse it as well. So you might want to reuse uh, a post every three or four months. So yesterday, we had um, all these went out. So there's five different posts went out. So this one is on LinkedIn. This one's on Twitter. This one's on Google My Business and so on. And I'm going to go back to my blog. So you notice on my blog, uh, that was an article that I posted a while ago that I've reposted. Okay, let's take this one, website redesign plan. So I'm gonna repost this and uh, so this was an article that I wrote um, a while ago. And uh, because uh, this is going to link through, then double content won't matter because the main content is what I've written already. So I'm gonna to go to Publa and I'm gonna create, and I'm gonna choose then which accounts I'm going to add. So I'm gonna add all these five accounts for now. And then you literally can just drag that information in. So I can put that in there. And then because it's uh, able to pick up uh, links then if you just put the link in it picks up the image as well and in fact you've got four images that it picks up that's in the article so that's really good as well so that's like posting four images which is great it also puts a bit of a reference that's how they get the link in and so on now how simple is that it took me what one two seconds to just cut and paste a couple of things in and that's it really you might want to add a little bit of information um, bearing in mind if this is posted on google my business then you might want to consider keywords you may want to rephrase this slightly you can also just go through because of course twitter isn't going to allow this much information so if you click on customize what you can now do is go for each one so if i click on this one this is how it's going to look in facebook and you can decide how your button looks in facebook so i'm going to have I just want people, if they want to learn more, they can click on the button and that'll take them through to the website. So that's Facebook done. Uh, Google My Business. So again, it's already gone for a learn more because it recognizes that makes sense. So I'm going to stick with that. Maybe what I'll do is just put that in bold because that's my heading and uh, that just stands out a bit as well. Let's take LinkedIn. So on LinkedIn, I like to put a few hashtags as well just to get certain people's attention. So there's some hashtags there I'm gonna put in as well. So I think entrepreneurs will be interested in how I design websites. And that's it, that's ready to go on both my LinkedIn accounts. And for Twitter, so then it, this is great, it just shows that this isn't going to get posted because of limitations within Twitter. So just want to reword that. I guess it's a much more simple version for Twitter as well. If you want to, you can preview to see how it looks.
So that's great, you can just check that all looks good to me. So good to go with that, so let's close that. And just one other thing as well, which is important, we talk about geotagging quite a lot as well, but let's just click on location and there you can add your location. And that has an effect as well. Now, I don't want this to go out today because I've already got a post going out today. So I can click schedule and I can put it out tomorrow, schedule. So this just asks the question, why? Why is it so important to make sure you have these regular updates on social media and particularly Google My Business? Well, there are three reasons why. So the first reason is that Google sees this as a very positive signal to your business and your branding. If it sees that there are other social media outlets talking about your business, retweeting it and linking back to your articles, your website, your domain, this then builds your authority in Google's eyes. And as you begin to build authority, obviously you rank higher in all areas. So it's a win-win situation from the fact it just exposes you to various links back to your website, to your posts, to your blog by means of those social media accounts being updated. Now, the second reason is it encourages people to retweet, to repost, people to, to perhaps link back and blog about what they've read based on what you've done. So, for instance, if you've got some uh, infographics, people might link through to them. Uh, people might link through to your article. So it encourages a lot more expansion of your blog, your website. And this has to have a positive indication to Google because recommendations and citations and people rating your articles and rating your business, all those things play a part in how Google My Business views you as well. So it builds your authority, it sees your recommendations, and we know, and we've seen in recent videos as well, how once Google sees that you're exposed and you're getting positive feedback beyond Google My Business, so like Yellow Pages, Facebook, their reviews have an impact on the reviews and your ranking within Google Maps, within Google My Business. So Google My Business sees far bigger than just its own self. So this integrating of uh, articles in other social media areas is going to be positive in Google My Business's viewpoint as well, Google's viewpoint. And the third reason is that for increased ranking, regularity is also a very positive signal in Google's eyes. So Google knows when you last posted. It knows if you if you don't if you're not aware of that, if you put a post out on your blog, as soon as it's been spidered, you'll notice that Google then says this article is and it will say like three hours old, 24 hours ago. You'll actually see in the search engine results page of just a standard search, you'll see that new articles actually say how old the article is. So that has an impact as well. People can even search for news that's only 24 hours old or information that's been produced in the last year. And that has a, a massive impact. The first three or four days of an article, once it's released, it can normally spike in traffic as well. So all those things indicate to Google that you're keeping things up to date. If it sees these constant spikes, it builds upon them as well. And so it consolidates into heavier traffic over time if you regularly post and Google is aware of it, spiders it and sees it just beyond not only the Google My Business area, but also into other social media areas. So you can see those three things themselves are all very similar but they all provide very positive signals to Google and they will have an impact on your traffic. And you can also uh, not only schedule things, you can then stagger them as well. Uh, you can do quite a lot more. You can add uh, videos, you can regurgitate uh, articles again and again in different ways. You can have certain snippets that get put in to make it slightly different each time. You can have analytics to check things. There are quite a few other things so I'm using the free version. So you get a tremendous amount on the free version. If you want to add Teams, if you want to add other accounts and so on, you can do that um, like Instagram, uh, Pinterest and so on. Uh, there are some limitations once you get past five accounts. But uh, as I say, I'll put the link down below. If you do want to look at the plans and pricing, you'll notice it's very reasonable when you think about the time it saves. Uh, if you did want to schedule YouTube videos as well and you want to watermark videos, there's a lot more extra things you can do here 
uh, if you need it. You probably won't need it to start with. Maybe just take the uh, free trial, see what you do need, and then you can decide whether the free one will keep you going or whether you'll need to perhaps add uh, or bolt on. Because the more accounts you have, the more team members you have, then the prices change. But as you can see, it really is a very, very smart piece of uh, packaging. Very few people know about this at the moment. So I'll put the link down below. Make sure you have a look at that. And then you'll see that within five minutes a week, really, you can boost your traffic. I've seen a big difference immediately. Well, now I'm posting regularly. And what you're doing, if nothing else, is when people have seen your branding 20, 30 days running, you think of the impact that has. You think about when they see your branding constantly talking about, say, web design, then who are they going to then go to next time they see it the following day when they see it on your social media? So just think in terms of as you go on the regularity of things, what you're doing in effect, you're giving an online advert of yourself and your business on a regular basis. And not only does that signal good things in people's minds when they see it regularly, but also it signals to Google a huge amount of respect. And you'll see then the traffic, you'll see the rankings, you'll see a big brand awareness have an effect on your business on the coming months ahead. So hopefully that's been really useful and I look forward to seeing you on my next video. And this one's been handpicked specially for you.